Our final sandbox test server is live right now, it is called AG Shells and Artillery Combined Test, it is the final of the four, you know, at first we had AG Shell testing, then we had Crew 2.0, then we had Artillery Changes, and now AG and Artillery Combined, because they received a lot of feedback about Crew 2.0, and uh, they need to do a lot of changes, so luckily they listened to us about Crew 2.0, but now... Today, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at his combined test and I'm going to play with artillery once again because many of you wanted to see after I uploaded my batch at uh, 155.58 AP only exclusive episode. Many of you wanted to see me playing with Object 261 because this was the god of AP rounds as well back in the very old days, you know. And many of you wanted to see this in action. And if we go to the uh, another screen, let's look at this article over here really quickly. And from here we can see that they really want to work on the AP shells. They want to make something out of them by increasing their damage by 10% compared to the previous sandbox test. And in addition, uh, they want to make the shell arc a bit higher uh, because it was uh, the lowest and now it is still the lowest but not as low at the same time making the uh, velocity a bit slower uh, but in my previous test uh, when I played with Batchet 155 and uh, AP exclusively I just showed you how borderline useless the AP rounds can be and I don't think this is my, going to do much uh, to this increasing the damage yes 470 from 470 to 520 50 extra damage is nice you know all the other shells receive some extra damage as well t92 up to 650 and also when they say preliminary statistics show that the idea to introduce three types of tactically diverse shells works and spg players used to learn to use all three types of shells well of course on the sandbox server people are testing everything new they are testing standard hg stunning hg damaging hg you know and ap rounds as well but when this chains would be live one month uh, for two months and when people see how big RNG element AP rounds actually have it drops down to I don't know 5% I guess it is my guess over here but it will drop down a lot so please consider this fact as well it is a new thing people want to test out new things and when I made an episode about T92 and when I used the new HG shell types, the damaging HG, the fun fact is, ladies and gentlemen, I did almost the same amount of damage, if not even more, all the time with high explosive splashes than I would have done with AP penetration. My point over here is not to say that, oh, they should buff the AP through the roof. Them calling it tactical shell, it doesn't make sense. It honestly doesn't make sense. It should be a smoke round or something like that to do something innovative. AP round is long long gone with this type of uh, design in my humble opinion because of the RNG. Change my mind in the comment section. Ladies and gentlemen, anyway, today we are going to play with AP rounds exclusively on Object 261, debuffed AP rounds. Let's see how this works. We are going to do some 30-30 clicking and of course to make the 30-30 clicking a bit better to wash some of the dirt off. <laughs> you know, I am going to do a little gold giveaway as well over here. As you already know, we have one 100,000 gold giveaway running on the background. I have done 10,000 gold already for the black market and today as a little gift for you in the comment section there is going to be 10,000 gold giveaway. What you have to do? Well, I'm going to talk about that right after we have thanked our sponsor who is literally making all of it possible. Let's go. And for the final time this month, I'm going to say happy birthday to Kalek, to Sargala, to all the other 500 plus champions. Raid Shadow Legends has, ladies and gentlemen, second anniversary. Congratulations to this free-to-play RPG game, what you are able to play anywhere, anytime, on your mobile devices, on your PC. <laughs> now, what I have been doing in this game this month is I'm focusing on upgrading my newest legendary champion called Narmad He Returned, who is absolute beast. She is actually absolute beast in the clan boss fights i'm trying to uh, improve my clan boss team and uh, she is definitely going to do that with all the attack towns poisonings and the heals to the allies absolute legendary beast at first trying to get her up to six stars of course uh, while farming experience and food in the brutal difficulty campaign mission 12 free this is the best place to do that by the way and after that min maxing care and descending and all the other things and then hopefully she carries my clan boss fights i am taking advantage 
of the anniversary events, which run for six weeks straight, featuring different events and tournaments, their first ever clan vs clan tournament, and also looking into the brand new Shadow King faction, which was just released. So, ladies and gentlemen, check it out yourself as well. There is a link in the description, or hit the QR code. And if you are a new player, you will get quite a nice head start, featuring free epic champion Yotun, 100,000 silver, 50 gems, and free ancient charts on the top of that. Make sure you grab your rewards from the inbox in the next 30 days and you are good to go. Absolutely fantastic. So what you have to do to be able to win your piece from the gold cake is super simple as always. Number one, be a subscriber. I want to support people who support me. This is why I'm not announcing it anywhere, not in the thumbnail, not in the title, anywhere. If you clicked on it, congratulations. Comment section giveaway for the 10,000 gold is simple. Username, your server in the same comment with today's video question, which is what do you think about the sandbox tests overall, about the AG changes, crew 2.0, artillery changes, what do you think? about them let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget that i have the 100,000 giveaway still running as well claim.io link in the top pinned comment left by me uh, click on it to join many different ways how to join and uh, good luck ladies and gentlemen going to be called the winners at the end of the month uh, most likely a couple days in the new month as well because it takes a lot of time but now ladies and gentlemen let's jump into the action and let's click on some people well this battle most likely is going to be very very hard to do any damage to deal any damage because we have so many ebrs over here we have a city map <laughs> we have all the all the things what artillery usually doesn't like right guys uh, yes we do mm, i don't know where the heck should i even okay that that's uh, that's uh, a bad position i would say so let's see let's see let's see of course no shots yet no shots yet I do have a shot right over there. Uh, ooh, object two seven seven. So let's let me see. Nada, nada, nada. May have an angle. Well, that guy is out for me. K ninety one. Okay, we have some open areas. Some open areas as well. Guys are gapping. There is leopard one. I'm waiting for the leopard one to stop. Maybe like this, and let's fire. <coughs> okay, that was a miss. Leopard one most likely moved down. I saw that little barbed wire like, getting destroyed. Oh no! Someone else moved down. Maybe 140. Maybe that EBR actually. Three EBRs are inside the bunker. <laughs> That's stupid. That's stupid fun. Okay, let's see. Leopard, come on! Don't don't fail me now, AP round. Don't fail me now. And off you go. Nah, come on! No! Can I curve a shot into this building? Wow, that would be crazy, dude. That would be crazy OP. Imagine if I hit that EBR right now. Imagine that. There is another EBR coming. Imagine if I hit the EBR with my AP round, though. That would be even crazier, right? And off you go, come on. Ah, oh, so close! Oh, there is... Object 705 coming. And 541, okay. 541. Uh, but uh, this battle is actually very nice showcasing you how, you know, even if you hit super close with AP rounds, you deal zero damage. Like, it's so hard to deal damage with AP rounds. That's the that's the point, you know. You have no splash, you have zero damage potentials. Calling it tactical shell is like... It's it's wrong, in my humble, 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 humble opinion. This guy is going all the way back. Let's go, let's see. Okay, 459. 459 from 520. Low roll as well, but hit is a hit. So at least we have two hits. Uh, score is 6 to 9. I think I'm able to take like one more, one or two more shots before EBR is going to get me. Right over here. And come on, move forward. Stop. Where the heck are you going? Oh, I did hit EBR. I did hit EBR as well. Okay, five hundred and six damage on the top of that. 9 to 13 loss on a city map. Well, I guess this is as good as I can do because I didn't have any blind shots, but. Uh, at least some hits. So, AP round, worth it, not worth it, let me know. Let's move on into the next battle. 
Okay, we have a potential matchmaking over here where we might be able to do some damage. They have Manticore, we have EBR, two artilleries, and uh, many, 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 many heavy tanks, ladies and gentlemen. So, I tried to get an angle on all those heavy tanks somehow. Hopefully, we're able to hit, bounce, penetrate, track, whatever, you know. I just want to hit and see what happens. Oh, blind shot by our... Blind sh... Did you get spotted? That was artillery blind shot, maybe. Even. I don't know. Okay. Uh, we have those guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Track, 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 track. Nah. Fix the tracks. You fixed the tracks. And off you go. Make me proud. Babitje. Babitje. Where the heck did that shot go? Okay, side. Side. I believe that was side. 515. Ow. Oh, under average roll. Mouse. Mouse, mouse, mouse. Although this is a, juice, a lot juicier target, especially if I can see the side, and I might be able to see the side. Off you go. Over. Like... <coughs> Explain me this. How it can fly so far, you know? Yes, I understand it's this view as well, but how? still, how can it miss many times so much? Most of the time so much, actually. But this is a very beautiful position. Over here we might be able to do quite a lot of damage, you know. And smack! Welcome to AP round where it is tactical. Zero damage round. Okay, off we go. Oh yeah, we did damage! Woo! After three freaking shots. One minute, one, ho uh, one hit, I guess. Is the theme over here. Let's go for this guy. Bounce, ricochet, okay, at least bounce, at least we did hit, you know, I don't mind if we hit and bounce, I just want to see the results, what I do mind is uh, we simply miss, keep missing shot after shot, okay, 60 dp, 60 dp, super conk, let's do it like this, Second bounce off from the gun mantle even. This was angled turret. Weird. It was a weird bounce. <clears throat> Actually, if you ask me, 183. Might be able to damage 183 quite beautifully, you know. I don't know. Let's go for a shot like this. Let's go for a shot like this. Okay, that was a upper deck penetration. Yeah, 500. Withdraw from that position. Do you think they are coming in? Okay. Thank you for the warning. I'm going to say that you are actually awesome, you know? Thanks for helping me to test out artillery, right? And off you go. And that was upper blade bounce as well, or lower blade bounce. Upper blade, lower blade bounce. I don't know. Anyway, Panzer Kampfwagen 7's uh, armor is actually quite strong, you know. Yeah, makes 50 b should be a bit scared soon. Uh, this, with the previous shot, by the way, I didn't even want to hit the Panzer. I actually wanted to hit Super Conk. I actually wanted to hit Super Conk. Off you go. And I didn't want to see this shot being high or anything. That's that's as good of an angle as anyone can get. E100, good job. I'm going to let you know that I'm focusing you. Aiming at your position. 183. Artillery should be under fire already anyway. Mouse up here. Okay. Nice. That was a turret snipe. Gorilla. How much HP IS-4 has? Okay, IS-4 has some HP left. E100 is doing crazy good job. It's just staying alive, you know? Do I have any shots at you? No, I don't. But can I get any shots at you, tier 183? Eh, never mind. No shots needed. I'm going to aim in. Let's go for a blind shot. That was a miss. Really 15 moved, sadly. 
So now we do not have to hide behind this hill anymore, right? Oh my god. Now we have to go up because we just got spotted. I saw tree falling. That's what I did see, ladies and gentlemen. I indeed saw tree falling. Alright, Gorilla 15. Like that wiggle link. No. Oh. <laughs> Mouse. 60 dp. Are any of those guys going back? Or not? Leopard 1 over there as well. Okay, Mouse is dead. Maybe we can focus on the leopard one, let's see. Oh my god, Gorilla. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to laugh, but Gorilla just hit my gun for zero damage and I did penetrate that guy in third person view. 60 dp up here, 60 dp moved all the way back. I'm actually going to uh, fire at uh, 60 dp. I am actually going to do that. Never mind, or never mind. Let's see. And off you go. That was a hit. That was a hit now. The only thing what uh, remains to do is to see if it was a penetration as well. And we are going to see that in a moment. 60 DP, can you kill that, Krilla? Now I can go in. I'm done. I am officially done. 3342 damage. Okay. 4000 damage with blind shots. And now the main question is. Would we have been able to do the same amount of damage with AG? Tis 261, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Look at this now. Okay, look at this. I took 15 shots, 11 hits, and 8 penetrations, right? <clears throat> so clearly I was using AP rounds. This guy had 15 shots, 5 hits, and 2 penetrations. Most likely mainly used high explosive ammunition and did almost the same amount of damage. I believe with all our hits, with all our bounces, we would have done over 4k, maybe even 5000 damage with this round. Simply by splashing and doing damage to Banzer 7 with every single shot, not bouncing any shots, you know. Maybe Gorilla 15 would have received some um, damage as well because we didn't blow up anyone, we didn't get like crazy high rolls with any any shots. And actually Gorilla 15 would have been penetrated most likely uh, with this high explosive round and we would have done like full 1000 plus damage. So I was extremely lucky in the previous battle to get that high of a damage uh, game in the first place. Uh, which I think I would have done the same, if not more, with this ammunition type. And um, yeah, once again, it proves that... Uh, is it tactical? I don't think so. I don't think it is going to be so tactical as they want to make it look. Because I tested it out yesterday as well. I kind of warmed up, you know. And uh, my average was like 1000 or 1500 over there. Uh, like, I have to be honest, you know. And... Uh, Many times you just, you know, it's frustrating when you miss shot after shot after shot and this is what AP does, or bounce shot after shot, even if you hit your leading shots or whatnot. And the fact that EBRs are able to eat your shells with only critical damages as well, well, of course this, I think, makes you even more mad. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, AP exclusive 261, this is what you wanted to see. If you enjoy my stuff over here, you know what to do. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, make the subscribe button gray it looks so much better that way join the notification squad and stay tuned for my future episodes because i'm going to bring some more stuff from the sandbox server for example fe4005 stage 
2 is coming up soon as well. So, you know what to do. Stay awesome, stay sexy, stay naked, take care, and bye.